Ok, buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Shania Padilla Sierra. Mi pronombre de género es ella y me comunico de las tierras ancestrales de los tribus Pogasic, Wappinger y Piqua. Welcome everyone. I am the program director here at Canto Mundo, which is housed at the University of Arizona Poetry Center. And it is my great honor to host tonight's uh, virtual poetry reading, which will feature a, comp a video compilation of our fellows and will be followed by a performance by our faculty, Brenda Calenas. A visual description of myself. I'm a black woman wearing a green dress. I have light brown hair. Behind me are yellow and white flowers, as well as a broadside featuring a large red flower and white text. So this is the first night of two public readings highlighting the craft and power of our fellows. Thank you for making time and space to be in community with us tonight for your patience, and thank you to our faculty and fellows for sharing their energy and art. A special shout out to Tyler and Diana at the Poetry Center for their production assistance and support, and to the steering committee for their guidance in making this such a special event. A note about accessibility, closed captioning is available, and please note that a full transcription of this event with bilingual translation will be made available next week. So Tyler, if you would please, our videos. Thank you. Exilio. We are exiles, I tell you, exilados. And it has been so long, long in point return. There, over there, one year turns to 100 years, far from home, root or tomb. Passing turns, that's how it goes. Mo ver. As if I just may be closer to there. Bow head, every land traveled access denied ma'am please present identification and if not in proper position pose or point of eye contact walk as if a machete's tip prepares to kiss the s curve of spine all the way down until in half there the people of guerrero point prayer counting each rosary bead like each yanto matters Every fallen head sits like stone, decayed dates, under soul burning. En cansancio lamento. Puedes pasar este mensaje a mi familia, a voice asks. Nod, though you know in passing line the message won't reach the beloved. In a bus, reach hand to window of the lands carrying, in what I take of it from to another country. The city people fear us from the mountains, a prima blesses, in parting, nos vemos. There, you see, the mountains of Washington are no different of Guerrero. Of guerra comes a silent war. Language, this body is war inheritance. Everywhere there, a stranger hands me a machete, book, or kiss. Remember me. Are you in faith of your country, land, inheritance? Do let me answer, not until then, here. I'ma look for my body, yeah, I'll be back real soon. I'ma look for my body, yeah, I'll be back real soon. I'ma look for my body, yeah, I'll be back real soon. I'ma look for my body, yeah. 
what is in finite wonderful body but a map to a home that itches and improvises our heads our hair are each keys and paths to ourselves layered membrane digits five and five ten body expanses teeming in memory and texture read tomography in just touch and gps trust gut bubbles as butterfly and cardinal each sense a direction each scent a message desperate to caress trajectory into flesh like lotion hair braided bullskin shea and a compass rose crown code and cartography wrapped in emerald satin ruby stitched skin blanketed in pimpled topography and thimbleless thumbs armed and equipped barber razor buzzing a grid to scalp to shadow faded legend lineup spans forehead prime meridian edges sprout curl and coordinate formation dry dandruff flakes fall as breadcrumb trails as roots to roots and bare fruit, as is lymph node, as erogenous zones and knee caps and finger tips along dermal margins and purple bruises, desperate to caress each and every location. The bounce, the grease, the crusting, decay of busting buds zits, the cis, each benign reminders of our cycle sublime. What are sweat and tears, but salt circles, but drops of pin, but clepsidra water clocks, and what are all of us but vessels, vessels who keep losing our ways, only to find fresh Buenas, my name is Ricardo Maldonado, and here's my poem, Polaroid, written in response to a series of provocations uh, from the incomparable poet Nicole Cecilia Delgado, with gratitude to Amanda Hernandez. Polaroid. Sucede que ardo ese espacio tierra cuando fui persona con dientes de leche bajo almohada, con la palabra de Dios en la nube. Buenos días. Fui de gatos, de cucharas y de bigotes verde-gris leve, aprendí y me levanté con letras para cualquier oración que me sacara el polvo, sueño, en anteojos, sueño, Puerto Rico en sueño, así que lo hacía todo en el bosque de pies amarillos. Fui iguana en su carne de corazón blanco que me amaba, cae la lluvia en su noche, quisiera entrar a la casona pero perdí en la vida. No hubo luz en el pasado, solo butacas y un cántaro púrpura de frente. Hi, my name is Jasmine Mendez and I'll be sharing two poems with you. The first one, Dar a Luz, from my book, Night Blooming Jasmine, Personal Essays and Poems. Dar a Luz. Like La Llorona, I weep. I, 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 I am infertile. A womb of skin and blood and bone stitched to wind and words and dust. I'm pregnant, 
La Comadre announces to me and the kitchen walls on the 4th of July. I feel light leave my body. I wipe my sticky watermelon hands on an apron. I reach out to hug the ice chest. I lift its dead weight across the room near the only plant I've ever kept alive. I check its soil for moisture. My fingers curl into being beneath the dirt. Congratulations, I say, but my necrotic tongue sticks to my teeth. La Comadre listens for a pulse in my breathing. I muffle heartache on the inhale. Coke cans cackle, melted ice caps clap. I'm startled by a firework next door. I just wanted you to be the first to know. Snakes around us like amniotic fluid. I hide the evidence of envy in my tear ducts. I offer us a child-proof smile. La Comadre agrees, but I linger in the space between, I'm glad you're okay and, are you all right? Sunlight in a stained glass window. And the second piece that I'll be reading is from the Breakbeats Latinx uh, Poetry Anthology, volume four. And this is titled, Learning to Dance, after Joe Arroyo's song, La Rebelión. Quiero contarle un pedacito de la historia negra, de la historia nuestra, y dice así. En los años 1600, pum, 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 cuando el tirano mandó las calles de Cartagena, esta historia escribió, pum, pum, pum. Los años, the years, carried my bones, spun my hand, held my hair, and my aching hips flew between us and the song, lifted my skirt a flame tree, fluttering against my cheek and your le lips, my legs, a rebellion, una rebelión, pum, pum, pum. You lead the march across this wooden floor, a tyranny of steps, syncopated rhythm chained to a matrimony of joy. We find the freedom this song is not about. Esclavitud perpetua, pum, pum, pum. I remember. A memory my bisabuela may have had. Pink sunrise behind a portrait of palmas, sucking sugar cane, sangre de Cristo in my hair. Las amapolas gathered red in the folds of my dress. I'd sing, esclava de un español. Él me daba muy maltrato. Pum, pum, pum. Across my face, black welts, purple bruised beatings swell in my muscles, kissing dirt, lips burst open like poppies. La tierra tastes bitter, passion fruit falling and rotting on knees. I remember a trumpet tantrum pleading, Salome, Salome, bum, bum, bum. Water, the ache and an ocean breaks my tears. While we dance, our skin slips sweat and surrenders. Luminous, our bodies bend beyond breaking. My foot follows yours free. From slavery to salsa, from captive to canto, from silence to song, we rebel. Hoy se escucha en la verja. Pum, pum, pum. We rebel. No le pegue a mi negra. Thank you. Canción de cuna Ojos y árboles Ojos y árboles Y quizás 
una abeja. Sé que las palabras no detendrán ni a los ejércitos ni a las torturas. Y estos días pienso en poca otra cosa. Pero aún dibujo árboles imaginarios, árboles y ojos, árboles y ojos y quizás una abeja. Lullaby. Eyes and trees. Eyes and trees. And maybe a bee. I know words will not stop the armies or the tortures. And these days I think of little besides. Still I draw imaginary trees, eyes and trees, eyes and trees, and even a bee. Blood and Breath by Sebastián Hassani Paramo. Somewhere years ago I ate dirt. Somehow I forgot this dark. I forgot beginnings. Who recalls the earth's birth? Years go on. We become ruins, dust, oblivion. The first brother's wisdom was to kill. Soil the ground with blood. Firth first breath taken. Is this blood a curse? I ate it. When it rains, I pray it will wash away. But the sun continues to rise, and stories return and return us to dirt. We squint at the familiar unfamiliar. How does the animal kingdom know what is right and wrong, what is north and south? Do worms know the light? What would it be like to feed like one? No, nothing but the drain of rain. How was I once a boy fighting like birds do over who could kill the snake? My brother did it with a small stone. After a storm, I stepped on the sidewalk. The blood of worms went unnoticed until I bent down and watched nature ravage its body. I'll die like that one day soon. Pass like years, like nothing was ever there. What am I capable of, dear brother? All I know is we are here, loving and forgetting, until one of us dies by chance. I must risk it all then, so I can make some small impression, like the first brothers who were or were not there. Some sorry, storied breath, whispering dust to cosmic winds. Ileana Rocha. There are no more lightning bugs in South Texas. There are still lightning bugs in South Texas, and we sit on the porch remembering how we killed them, put handfuls in socks, collected them in jars. We did it 
we killed them. Think of the life we've taken. I could list it, image by image, sound by sound, but we know our crimes by our silence, the most trustworthy of indicators. Our predictions come true because they all end in death. Happiness is in there too, and love. The gardenia bush devours water from the sprinklers and soon the flowers will stop breathing, but we're not alarmed. This life is anticlimactic at best, honest at worst. On the evening, we don't think we'll see the moon. We do. My grandmother is old and dying. No better way to say it. When I come back south again, she won't be here and we won't be together. Her legs won't be strangled by angry blood vessels, gardenias bruised and trapped beneath muscle. She won't carry ghosts alongside her like she does her urine. We speak honestly for the first time about the body. After all these years, I learn Spanish slang for diarrhea, correncia. It runs. We break into laughter. We break laughter in half. Hi, my name is Lassie Sines, and I will be reading two of my own poems. The first is titled, Propaganda Guzzle. Father repeats a Yankee saying about history, its wrong side. In fear of comeuppance, I eat so much I can only sleep on my side. For years, I thought our guts looked like unupholstered chairs that this unlearning would be a larger spectacle, a bright side. America, wake up. The bazooka blasts are cartoon tomatoes. I line up the lies like hand-holding children, side by side by side. Fidel Castro was a threat to the peace of the Western Hemisphere. For an eye-catching poster, Use the color wheel's opposite sides. I didn't fuck the woman with the Che Guevara print above her bed. Instead, I let her pin new atrocities to my damp right side. The second poem is called Self-Determination Theory, and there is an epigraph from Gertrude Stein that reads, there is something in this native land business, and you cannot get away from it. I sit in the living room. In the living room, my mother chokes on something cold and sharp. I launch an investigation. She is wearing a blue cotton shirt. Her shoulders are showing. The television is hush. I conclude she is struggling with a unique idea, one she should keep. Just like that, sparks, reds, whites. It is the savior mother calls U.S. U.S. places his arms around her abdomen and applies sudden upward pressure. She heaves. The volume of the Not News channel raises, and the sound alerts my father in the kitchen. To enter the living room, my father must step over the bodies of other Spanish-speaking men. He does so with ease. I weep in the living room. In the living room, my father watches U.S. grope my mother, and though he is a jealous man, he says nothing, because he two accepts no other touch thank you
Behold the body. Behold the body. Behold the body of Brihido, bound, broken, beloved. For some will return their bodies to be buried in their ancestral ground. They will return from exile carried by their children, for they will leave their children in exile to return to that starting place. Their children will repeat the loss one more time. The father, the mother left over water, back in the old country, buried under palm, under the trees of their childhood, buried in the soil they farmed, the soil they turned with their hands. Their body returned to be buried alongside brothers and sisters, beside beloved mothers and fathers whose deaths they were denied from witnessing. Behold the beloved body of Brigido. We will take his ashes, we will fill out the forms, pay the fees to the offending government for the privilege of placing his body in an overhead compartment or under the seat in front of you for the journey over the sea, over the perilous straits, over the water where the unfortunate lie in subaquatic slumber. Their children will surrender the body to the soil. Behold the body of Garuka, beloved aunt who preceded his brother Brigido, for we will discover her ashes in an urn in the living room of her surviving husband, who was too broken from pain and memory to return the body to the island which broke him. Behold the body of Brigido, behold the body of Caruca, behold the body of the countless ones, Brigido, Caruca, Alberto, Heberto, Celia, bodies burned, bodies buried, bodies beloved, for we will return their beloved bodies, will surrender everything but the stories of their names, which were bodies to their bodies, will surrender everything but the sound of their laughter, still in our heads. Surrender everything to a spot over blue water, over the landscapes of childhood memory, over the years of denied return and solace, over the history that won't absolve anyone, over the wound that time alone can close. Behold the body of Brigido, behold the body of Brigido, Behold the body of Brigido. Behold. The Cuban and the Bear. To a Cuban, a grizzly bear is as rare as a unicorn, a monster of teeth and fur never imagined in a childhood of tobacco and sugar cane. So when the Cuban found himself at Yosemite on the second week of a long camping trip with his wife and three children and the park ranger smiled and warned, don't feed the bears, one syllable flickered like a fish in the stream of gibberish. Bear? My father asked through the car window. Yes, the ranger replied. Also? He turned to ask his wife. This is how the bear magically shortened our trip by three days, transporting us 150 miles in one day to San Jose, a place my father figured was far enough away from this creature who had made him bilingual enough to know that bear equaled also equaled certain death. Thank you. That was beautiful. Gracias. Thank you, fellows. I I think we're all <laughs> just astounded by what we just saw. I am endlessly grateful to you and awed by your talent, energy, and craft. And it is such an honor to be in community with all of you. Y ahora es mi gran placer presentar a Brenda Cárdenas y darle la bienvenida a nuestra comunidad de Canto Mundo. It is my great pleasure to introduce Brenda Caldenas this evening and welcome her to our Canto Mundo community. Brenda's books and chapbooks include Boomerang from Bilingual Press, Bread of the Earth, The Last Colors with Roberto Harrison, 
Achote Seeds, Semillas de Achote with Christina Garcia, Emmy Perez, and Gabriela Erandi Rico, and From the Tongues of Brick and Stone from Momotombo Press. She also co-edited Resist Much, Obey Little, Inaugural Poems to the Resistance, and Between the Heart and the Land, Latina Poets in the Midwest. Caldenas' his work has appeared or is forthcoming in poetry, Latino poetics, the art of poetry, grabbed, take back the narrative through this door, Wisconsin in poems, Fort Green, Ghost Fishing, an eco-justice anthology, city creatures, animal encounters in the Chicago wilderness, the wind shifts, new Latino poetry, and many others. Galenas has served as Milwaukee's poet laureate, co-taught the inaugural workshop for Letras Latinas Pintura Palabra, a project in a crisis, and is associate professor of English at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. And now, borrowing a line from one of my favorite of Brenda's poems, Flaca Roll Call, I invite you now to hang your head out the window and join Brenda in un grito tan lleno de duende that it cracks the pavement. <laughs> muchas, muchas gracias um, for that beautiful introduction. Thank you. And um, to the entire Canto Mundo community for welcoming me as you have. Um, I, I just couldn't be happier to be here. Um, just to describe myself, um, I'm wearing a, I'm a, a light-skinned white presenting Chicana from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, of all places. I'm wearing a, a green a blouse. I have dark brown hair, wearing glasses and wearing a um, necklace and earrings that are cornflower blue and green and that I got in San Antonio, Texas. Um, and although we have already done this, I, I wanna honor again the fact that I'm zooming to you from traditional Potawatomi, Menominee and Ho-Chunk homelands along the Southwest shores of Michigami, where the people of Wisconsin sovereign Anishinaabe, Ho-Chunk, Menominee, Oneida and Mohican nations remain present. Um, so I'm going to begin, oh, and um, the, the fellows that uh, were in my workshop this afternoon, I want to let you know that a couple of the poems I'll be reading will be things that I wrote using the same exercises that we that we used today. So um, I'm going to begin with a poem called El Futuro Está Hecho a Mano. Imagine handmade subversion, community embracing liminal existences. Et sin sun san colibri acquiesces to air. Su corazón flickering hints of hibiscus. Autumn grasps the wet hand of August, links arms with December's icy elbow as spliffs smoke swallowtails into dreams where duende tiptoes up behind you, blows the fine hairs at the back of your neck, te abraza con sus suspiros. Presente mi cielo. Imagine handmade community, knitting, hinging, sewing, nodding, gluing us together. And um, the next poem, let me see, I'm going to try to share my screen here because I do write, um, some of my poems are ekphrastic poems written in response to visual art. And so I'm hoping that that is showing the um, slide here, let me go here, one second. Um, and that you can see Ana Mendieta's, um, oops, didn't mean to do that. Ana Mendieta's um, artwork here, uh, earthwork from her Silhouette series. Um, she's, I'm really taken with her work and have written a number of poems um, after, her, after her work. This is called Our Lady of Sorrows. Our Lady of Sorrows has appeared to the mountain dwellers, her grief engraved where stone softens to clay. Keep your eyes sharp for a dagger. In its hilt, you'll find her face pressed to the earth's cheek. Kiss this sacred spot before the rains wash it away like her orphaned feet. Notched heart cradles a planet heavy with nightmares 
flying into empty mouths. Listen for their thirsty murmurs. She'll push her ponderous child into the dew of a San Felipe dawn, name him Salvador. They'll rest beneath a web spun umbilical, eclipsed from our human eyes. Our Lady, stone, clay, earth, rain, orphaned, heart, eclipsed. Oops, sorry about this. I'm trying to manipulate multiple screens right now. One second. Okay. Um, thank you. Uh, and then the next, the next poem um, I'm going to read is called Dumpster Incident for Roberto. Handcuffed for filling a dumpster with wounds your father's leather jacket, fistfuls of poems, mother's voice blaming through the cracked photograph and setting them ablaze. You cannot explain. Wild eyed, you grab through steel bars at a holster, claw at blue polyester skin. It cracks the nightstick against your knuckles breaks fingers that can no longer fly. So you pace from one side to the other in steps so tiny, each would measure a mile in your journey from San Marie de la Mer to Moroccan hashish fields, where you shared meals of minnows from aqueducts with families who held you as if you were one of their own each step so tiny now your captors can no longer see you escape and the next uh, poem is titled sweet 16 and i probably should um, offer a trigger warning here that this poem um, deals with some pretty difficult um difficult material Sweet 16 in patched Levi jeans and spaghetti strap tees, we walked a mile to meet the bad boys kicking back at the park. Newports nearly tumbling from their bottom lips as they flicked wheels to flint and waited for a spark. We strolled in with six packs of Pabst and Sass, asking for a joint and a motorcycle ride, secretly wishing for a date to the carnival or concert or next beer bash. But we barely popped the tops of our cans, had any chance to joke or flirt or speak of summer plans before dusk deepened to dark, before he pressed me against tree bark, tightened his vice of a body to mine and grew 10 hands that grabbed everywhere, even the hair at the back of my head to stop my thrashing neck. By some dumb luck, he could not trap my 10 alarm screech, its siren rupturing his will. Still, I often wake straining and mute knowing either he or the tree will swallow me if I cannot scream. And what of her? The one who breezed into the park with me that summer eve, all cherry lip gloss and glitter eyes, all cool facade melting on the inside, all sweet 16 with her firefly heart waiting to spark. And I'm going to try to show you again a slide, if you'll bear with me. Um, see if I can get back my, oops. Here we go. Okay, there it is. Um, I've, oh, no, I'm giving you the poem, aren't I? I don't want to give you the poem. I wanted to give you the slide. Here we go. Okay. Um, 
So I've also been writing a number of poems um, in response to the work of this artist, Eric uh, de, de Luna Hena, um, who does these drawings. As you can see, um, there's a whole, he has a whole Loteria deck um, called Cien Nombres para la Muerte. Um, and this poem, the next poem responds to um, these three drawings. From Cien Nombres para la Muerte, Las Jodidas, the Screwed Ones. We are bent from the loads we've carried, strapped to our bony backs. Sacks of maize, hierbas, frijoles, bundles of firewood, jerry jugs of precious agua. Each Saturday, we haul tall stacks of caged birds to the mercado to sell their captive songs, their laments, our heaviest burden. Hobble a mile in our ragged huaraches, holes in their tire tread soles. Follow us to the village of whispers, where the only gritos belong to the wind, empty doorways grown over with weeds, our men's dusty boots waiting years for their return. Look into the cenotes of our eyes. You'll find no fish, no flores, no monedas, only sacrifices with their mouths full of mud and the dread of our itchy grins. Then tell us you would never risk wrapping your little lamb in a rebozo, grabbing your withered staff and heading north, devil sun, scorpion, migra be damned. You'd fly for the birds whose latches you could not unlock, You'd fly so the only satchel your daughter hoists on her shoulders is heavy with libros, lapices, y sueños. You'd fly, never believing they would wrest her from your back and lock her in a cage. Um, and then there's another um, slide. I should have just left the screen up there. Didn't realize I had this poem coming next. Um, there's another piece by the same artist, um, uh, Ricardo, uh, Ricardo de Luna Enel. Let me see if I can pull that up. Oh, I'm not finding that one. Wait, wait, here it is. I think it might be sharing now so that you can see the, the piece. And this poem, um, we lost my youngest brother. Um, he was in his 50s and he, we lost him to heart failure about two years ago, two years ago, a few weeks ago, it'll be two years. Um, and this poem, um, is written regarding that. From Cien Nombres para la Muerte, La Zapatona, The Fleet-Footed Woman. Brother, your heart was a speed metal drummer in a breakaway, jamming for the finish. They had to trip it, stop it, start it, shock it, till it threw you to your knees, and La Zapatona, sure-footed in her winged sneakers, tucked phalanges into fists and bolted, ponytail sailing in her wake, piano grin full of keys hammering sweeps. She shot you that mal de ojo, all black holes, and you still smell her sweat, her stale breath. Feel her fire, feel its fire in your lungs. I cheated her three times, you say. Now she sprints inside my chest. Now she's neck in neck. And this next poem um, follows that one. It's also begins, it begins the same way, um, brother. It's titled Brother, and it's beginning with a line by Robin Riegler. Brother, my pain is a cloud that might be saying goodbye. It waves its plump little hand and sails into blue. I imagine a fist pump and a wink. 
How could I refuse to laugh at its mischievous smirk, like trying not to burst into chortles when your lover cracks a stupid joke in the middle of a fight? After the first year, I began to wake without memory of missing your last words, because by the time I arrived, they had all flown north in search of a cool lake breeze rustling between aspens, an eagle perched in the crown of the tallest tree on shore, knotty pine walls of the tiny room where we slept three to a bed, comforted by dim yellow light shining through cracks and sounds of our parents, grandparents drinking beer and slapping cards down on the oilcloth just outside the drawn curtain we pretended was a door. And I'm going to go back to the slides one last time. There's only one more um, piece that I want to share a slide for. And that is the one there. Let's see if I can make this work. Here we go. There's the artwork. Um, so this poem is after this piece by uh, Chaz Mojorquez, a Los Angeles artist. Um, um, Placa Roll Call is his, is his painting. And this um, begins with an epigraph from the artist himself, who said, if the city was a body, graffiti would tell us where it hurts. And this block would shout, nos diste un chingazo, cabron. Mira esta cara rota, these baton cracked ribs, this black and blue streak dizzy con gente, Blades, Kiki, Larry, Snow, Enrique, Connie, Elton, King, David, Kelly, Jeff, Raton, Chaz. Los de aquí, los de abajo. This roll call won't be silenced, not by Glock. Not by chokehold, this our temple of runes, our tomb, its glyphic curve and flow, calligraphic code writ acrylic. This our relic, our scroll unrolled in catacombs, our flex of subtext still buzzing después de que vayamos con la pelona. Que lucha, loco. Then, baile con nosotros to the aerosol's maraca y hiss, al punk in español's furious sweat. Hang your head out the window y dale un grito tan lleno de duende that it cracks the pavement, summons our dead to dinner, turn the tonal kaleidoscope, then pause, catch your breath so you don't miss the illegible moment where all the mystery lives. There, decipher that. And I just have a few more, two, three more poems, um, and I'm going to stop now with that screen sharing. Um, and just read you the rest of them. So this one is called Hashtag Petrochemicals. And it begins with an epigraph, a quote from the movie, the 1967 movie, The Graduate. One word, plastics. Plastic pacifier, pastel ring of keys, plastic bassinet, playpen, baby bottle, pink plastic barrettes, balloons, big red ball, plastic swimming pool, play school, little plastic stove, fried eggs, butter melting in the plastic pan, plastic jack-o'-lantern, begging for, begging for individually plastic wrapped candies, plastic water wings, plastic pail and shovel to scoop plastic coated sand next to the plastic ocean, plastic straws and plastic milkshake cups, plastic carnival prizes, Lego snow globes, plastic Plastic helmets, skateboards, rackets, plastic pens, paper keepers, headphones, plastic toothbrushes, shavers, tubes between Q-tips, plastic strawberry lip gloss, plastic blossom and bloom shampoo, vanilla hand soap, plastic Barbie body, plastic skin and preteen wishes for plastic surgery, plastic milk cartons, one per week, millions per week, plastic mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, plastic serving tray, plates, plastic forks, knives and spoons wrapped in plastic to eat plastic hamburger and sip plastic Pepsis right out of the plastic cooler, giving you a headache, plastic bottle of Excedrin, plastic coated capsules, and a plastic cup of water to lube your plastic joints. Put on your plastic eyeglasses to find them. At the store, a plastic bag for each lemon, bunch of broccoli, handful of Brussels sprouts for the single tomato, paid for with plastic, and all packed loosely between plastic smiles in ever more plastic bags. Against insularity. 
keep pushing air into your splenetic bubble until it contains a brimming world you can plunge into, blood orange sky tinged with lavender. Purge the stampeding litany, little dreams, the pistol whipped plans sutured to sugar plum tongues and Listerine soused futures. Be a deciduous tree, lizard wrinkled, a century of rings rising to the still silver streaked clouds. All our granular wreckage, our tin pan scraps are bursting with viridian timpani. Light the cosmic fire, feed it with lungs the size of ship's bellows, spark celestial candles. They will wander into amethyst constellations like the fireflies, the lilacs we were born to be. And my last poem, the last poem I'd like to read to you, um, I wrote after a line by Juan Felipe Herrera, um, and with the exception of a few conjunctions and prepositions, which I added, all of the language in the poem was taken from works by Mexican American and Native American authors whose publications were removed from the Tucson public school classrooms when the school district banned the district's Mexican American studies program under the 2010 law HB 2281. In 2017, a federal judge declared the law unconstitutional and enacted with discriminatory intent. The vast majority of the poem's phrases and lines were originally written by Juan Felipe Herrera, Sandra Cisneros, Caridad Sivach, Luis Alberto Urrea, Gloria Ansaldúa, Lorna Di Cervantes, Bernice Zamora, Diane Rodriguez, Luis J. Rodriguez, Evangelina Vigil Piñon, Sherry Moraga, Tomás Rivera, Laulia Perez, Culture Clash, Gina Valdez, Tino Villanueva, Joy Harjo, and Silvia Chacon. And the poem is for them and for the young people who chained themselves to the school board members' desks in protest of that HB 2281. So I'm closing with this. Um, it's called Because We Come From Everything. Because we come from everything, from zero, from a doubt slender as a hair, from a land of travelers, wanderers, and its geography of scars, from frayed edges and muddy hems, from the border sealed tight as an envelope, Meskin Dixon line. Because we come from Operation Wetback, Operation Peter Pan, Operation Gatekeeper, floodlight sensors, infrared spy videos, night vision camera, a top topo maps, helicopters and holding cells, from sharp shooting goose steppers round every corner, from alien gods and alien names and alien eyes and wild alien tongues, from the barbed wire politics of stupidity because we come from the ship that will never dock, from a parallel universe, double helix, synchronized sigh, the infinite division del secreto terrible, the screaming sun, because we come from steel mill smoke and silt slaughtering the sky, a matchbox house beneath the shadow of the freeway, windows so small you'd think they were holding their breath and roaches so big they look Pleistocene, kids hopscotching on the sidewalk and a dusty unpaved road called Called sal si puedes. Because we come from the geometry of disaster, schools torn down and sold for scrap, bristled restrictions and chuco hieroglyphics, the gash sewn back into a snarl, crushed cigarette in a glass. Because we come from linoleum and formica, from rooms boarded shut and rented to strangers in una esquina aparte de los demás, hole in the ceiling, kids on milk crates, the hammerhead of responsibility, tin plate face down on the floor. We come from brujas, chavalas, carnales, cabrones, rucas, locas, comadres, los fatos, los perros y los perdidos, una vieja y sus recuerdos, eternal ciphers with voices bright as chrome. Because we come from every cell, every follicle, every nerve, the petals of the body, an orchid of blood, mapped birthmarks, knowing and unknowing. Because we come from museums and waiting rooms, hostile territory and collateral damage. Because we come from the out of service area, from another bad dream, a bowl of beans, because we come from El Rascuache, Tex-Mex with a Brooklyn accent, Santeria Tupperware party, Magna Car statuettes and kitsch calendar art at the flea market, La Segunda, from the word Cachibaches and La Loteria, a world loaded on each back. 
because we come from everything on top of everything, from unbending dreams and a long line of eloquent illiterates, the throat that must clear itself and apologize each time it speaks, a sound like swallowing mud, because we come from El Camino de la Mestiza, the path of red and black ink, from linguistic terrorism and literary archeologists, from each of the star stories, because we come from a green flutter, the hummingbird's throat, from dichos cantos cuentos because we come from the spoken word, the seed of love in the darkness. Gracias, muchas gracias. Wow. <laughs> we come from the seed of love. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. Wow. Estoy un poco anonada. I, I need a minute, but. What did y'all think? Um, that seed of love line is Tomas Rivera's. It comes from No se lo tragó la tierra, and the earth did not devour him. That was so powerful and moving, Brenda. Thank you for darnos ese, ese don, ese regalo, el duende. Thank you. And fellows, your videos were amazing. Woo -woo! Thank you so much for sharing your art and your energy with us. And on behalf of our steering committee, our American Academy uh, Poetry Coalition fellow, Maria Fernanda, Helen Diana at the Poetry Center. Thank you so much. We will see you tomorrow. Have a great night. <laughs>